Hello and welcome back to the Beer Dog Reviews. Today I've got a winter beer for you. Picked this one up at Sainsbury's. It's a pound eighty own brand beer, so not going to break the bank there. It's called a Winter Warmer Ale. It's brewed by Eagle Brewery in Bedfordshire. Yep. And they've used Challenger Hops. Oh, it creates a rich and fruity ale with an additional body and character coming from the roasted malt barley. They say, enjoy served alongside a steak and ale pie or whilst relaxing with friends and family beside an open fire. Serve chilled. <clears throat> Traditional ale serve chilled. Room temperature for me, it's quite cold down here. Got no heating on, purposely. So it's not chilled as such, it's cool. There's the label there. Got silhouettes of people around the bonfire. Ignore the noise, there's um, people setting off fireworks. I'm filming this one on Halloween. Uh, looks pretty good, doesn't it? Have a go. Get into the glass and see what we've got. And there we go. I'm using my Simple glass here. Nice chestnutty amber beer with a good finger of quite spacious white head. And slightly off white. It's quite a clear beer. With gentle carbonation. Smells malty. Definite fruit in there. It certainly smells good. Let's have a look and see because I know for a fact that on their taste of different beers you get some good notes here. So, origin Bedfordshire. Yep, we know that. Style dark ale. Well, we can see that already. Taste rich, fruity, and malty. Let's just top it off a bit. Now we'll see what it is like. Mm. It's plum in there. Touch of date. That's red fruit all the way. It's definitely red. Get a nice roasted mark coming in. Hmm. That is a perfect winter beer. Barely any bitterness on the back end there. It's quite thin on the body, but it's a traditional beer, so kind of it's back that, don't you? Overall, it's a rather nice, what I would call a, a fireside beer. Just right for this time of year. You know, we're ploughing force first into winter now. What do you want? A good winter ale. Sit round a fire, have a couple of these. 
That's a good evening, isn't it? Maybe a nice roast dinner or a bit of pie and mash. I could certainly enjoy a few. Mm. It's got a really nice malt base. It's rich, it's rounded, and possibly the most important thing, it's balanced. What more could you ask for? Cheers to you all. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe down there. As always, I will pop the links for my Facebook, Twitter and Instagram right down there in the description box. And I'll see you all again next time. Happy drinking.